Hello, Lasse Mikkonen from Efficode. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to run an hardware in loop setup using a GitHub Cloud. Here I have a repository which uh, hosts Arduino code and then as a hardware in the loop setup uh, any changes done to the code on repository and pushed or pull request accepted to main branch, they will be updated automatically to Arduino board. And for that manner, I use a self-hosted runner, which runs on Windows PC and uses an Arduino CLI, uh, meaning command line uh, compiler and flashing tool. So the GitHub repository looks like that. There is an actions workflow that fires up whenever we do a push or a pull request to main branch. And in the end, we can see that uh, it calls a local or uses a self-hosted uh, runner and calls a bat file eventually, which will do the flashing. All right, then let's look at also the flash.bat file, how the actual flashing or flashing and compiling happens. It's simply a two line uh, commands or two one line commands Arduino CLI compile and Arduino CLI upload, and that's what it takes. So, and this is how the actual setup itself looks like. Here is the board. It has a software now running, earlier version, and we can see that what's happening in it by just looking at the COM board output, it measures the temperature and rounds it up here in the display. And this is where the self-hosted runner is running on the power cell. Okay, and now we go and look at the code. Actually, there was a spelling mistake on the word temperature on the display. Let's go and fix that. So I open an Arduino C file, go and edit it directly on the GitHub itself. Let's change the build number that was also shown on the display and add that missing A character there and then remove an extra character on that so that this can fit on the display as well. So this is our change and now commit and push the change. Okay, I push it to the main branch directly. That's not best way to do it, but for the demonstration purposes, that's good. And now we see that build is about to run and see what's happening on the board itself. It already managed to update it and there is the build success message. So that was basically the case. So what you need is an configure and self-hosted runner and then in this case just use the command line uh, flashing tool to update the board itself. And then of course we can extend that to collect some uh, unit test results from the board and uh, move them also to the uh, storage. All right, then let's look at also the flash.bat file, how the actual flashing or flashing and compiling happens. It's simply a two line uh, commands or two one line commands Arduino CLI compile and Arduino CLI upload, and that's what it takes.